Hi, today I'm going to show you how to render pork fat into lard. We recently butchered our pigs, so we have a lot of pig fat to uh, do something with, and rather than throw it out, I'm going to make it into lard. First thing I need to do is cut it into little pieces so that it uh, melts faster. Some people like to grind it up. I guess that would make it um, melt even faster. But uh, this is my first time trying this, and um, so I am cutting it into little pieces. Some people um, put it in a big pot and boil it down, and some people put it in a crock pot. Um, I've also heard of uh, people doing it outside in great big um, kettles, but I'm not able to do that right now, so I am doing it on the stove in cast iron frying pans because I saw that um, done in a video, and my cast iron pans need some seasoning, so this is really good for them. So I, I put the, I started this one first, and you can see how the it the fat is going translucent. Um, it started out like this more solid and white looking. And um, from what I understand, the best temperature to do this on is low. It helps it to come out um, whiter, I guess, and, and nicer. So I have it on minimum. So it starts out like this, and then as it goes along, it becomes translucent. Or, well, you know, it's, it's more see-through. And you can see the liquid coming off of that as it melts, and that liquid is the lard. So after this is all um, melted, I will be straining it through something and putting it in jars. And it'll come out and it'll be a clear liquid, and then as that cools, it will become solid. And that'll be an interesting thing to see happening. And I guess another a byproduct of this is also um, cracklings, which I have yet to experience but understand are very tasty. So we will see how that goes. So this is really starting to melt. Can you see all of the liquid in there? Lots of... That's pretty cool. It's taking a while, but it's uh, going to be worth it, I think. See how this is um, decreasing in size, becoming uh, shiny looking. And so as you can see, the fat is really melting down. You can see a lot of the oil, liquid fat, which will solidify into the lard. I ended up turning it up a little bit. To try and speed it up. Hopefully uh, that won't affect it too badly. It's still very low. So this one is coming along really well. This one is still not... It's coming along but it's slower because I started it um, later. So Yeah and I'm still cutting up more fat. We'll have lots of lard if I continue on. <laughs> It's coming along really good. So this is how this is looking. Um, I'm thinking more and more that these are going to be the cracklings and that they may be ready soon. I don't know. Um, so that's changed a whole lot and this is the way the second one is and I just started a third one and it hasn't started to uh, melt yet. but. Um, this is pretty good and we tried some of these in a sandwich that had um, tomato and cheese and it tastes like bacon so I think that's pretty good. I think that'll be a pretty good snack. What do you think? You liked it? Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. I'm over here making a banana yogurt shake. Yay! Yay. So, I'm just walking by. A random person. Pedestrian. <laughs> So here is the oil. There's still some of the residue um, from the cracklings. 
Um, I think I need to do some more frying of them, maybe, or maybe that's the way they're supposed to be. I don't know. But anyways, so what I'm doing right now is taking this and straining it. And then I'm going to pour it into jars. So right now it's a clear oily liquid and then when it cools down it'll end up being um, solid, solid lard. So we'll take a look at it in a little bit later. I poured the oil into a jar now and it's yellowish liquid. We'll see what it looks like when it hardens. So here we are the day after I um, was melting down the lard and uh, I needed that time for the lard to sit and become solid. From the batch that I did yesterday I got what three and a half um, quart jars and it's nice actually it's solid it's nice and white and it'll be good for cooking and baking with. And uh, as you can see, I have a lot more to make. <laughs> and these are the cracklings. Um, as we're preparing breakfast this morning, we fried some with some peppers and onions and stuff. So that'll go along with our uh, scrambled eggs. This is what that looks like, and I'm looking forward to it because it should taste really good. Thank you for watching my tutorial on how to make lard. Um, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.